so should we go for a run or should we do high intensity cardio style training or should we actually get down and dirty and get into the weights? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna help you sort through which type of workouts you should do in order to get the best results that you're looking for, whether it comes to burning fat or building muscle. What's up everybody, Coach RJ from www.fitclub.fit and today I wanna to help you focus on which calories you should be burning. Is it hit style calories or is it lifting weights? Now the last but not least, is I know we love to sweat. I know we love to just get our body moving and we wanna burn calories, right? We get so fixated on looking at our watch and seeing how many calories did we burn in a workout. Now, me personally, I'm always super surprised when I burn about, let's say in, in 30 minutes, I'll burn about 250 to 300 calories, okay? Now, if I can burn 250 to 300 calories in a weight training session, I'm actually really shocked. Because you think about when you're running, your body is using more body parts and you're getting the heart rate higher and you might burn more calories, but when you do running activities, your heart rate will maybe go up a little bit higher, but you're not building any muscle. So the long-term benefits for you to be able to gain more muscle aren't there. So you're burning more calories temporarily, but we have to understand that when we start to lift weights, and we do what's called a progressive overload, meaning that we start to lift heavier gradually as we go over time, and we're always challenging the muscles for more, then we're gonna be building more muscle, and muscle burns 30 calories for one pound of muscle, whereas fat only burns three calories for one pound of fat. So when we're doing weight training exercises, our heart rate not, might not go up, but we're increasing the amount of muscle mass that we're having in our body. And as such, long-term, we're gonna be burning off more calories. So what should be your focus when you're working out? It depends on the day. If we're focusing on strength training for that day, then we need to focus on what we're going to achieve long-term. You're gonna to start to see more muscle definition. You're gonna be able to get more strength. You're gonna be burning more calories because you're adding more muscle. So if we're lifting weights and that's the focus, then you're not gonna burn as many calories. But long term, you're gonna see more muscle, which equals more calorie dependent. And so then you're gonna be burning more calories on the long term, making you more leaner and toned and giving you more shape. So there we have it, guys. We understand that it's gotta be a combo. It can't just be all weightlifting because our goal isn't to get bulky. Okay, I'm not saying that just because you lift weights, you're gonna get bulky, but when it comes to your goal and you as a viewer, you probably wanna focus on shredding down some fat and putting on some lead muscle. So what does that mean? We need a great combination of lifting weights with a progressive overload. So some days we're not gonna burn as many calories because we're doing more focused, slow strength training. And then on other days, we're gonna incorporate things that are high intensity, that's gonna get your heart rate up, that's gonna help you burn calories, and then we're gonna burn more calories to help you lose more weight. So if you're looking for a challenge, if you're looking to step up your game, if you're looking to take it to the next level, I'm talking eight to 12 pounds of fat loss in under 28 days, then visit us at www.fitclub.fit and mention the belly burn, and we'll get you started today.